last surviving members of the Mercurian army, Vetus is only a shell of the man he once was. Devastated by the destruction of his people in the once glorious city of wisdom and enlightenment, he has set his sights outward on a new mission, to protect the entire realm so it does not meet the same fate. In an effort to bring the spark of life back into Vetus, Attila Losier asked him to train the army of Leodiceus in the methods of Mercurian warfare. With this new purpose comes the tiniest glimmer of hope that this great warrior will regain the peace he once knew. How's it going everyone? I'm Slavin Utorski and welcome to the channel. I want to thank you for stopping by as usual. I know you're here to check out some Mythic Legion stuff, so I figured I'd go ahead and open up one of my Vetuses, review them on the channel, and go from there. I think it'll go great with everything in the background here. So, uh, very much worth it. But uh, if you do enjoy this kind of content, I super appreciate it. If you guys like, share the video. If you want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, that means a lot to me. Uh, I just keep doing stuff like this, and the more positive reinforcement I get, the better, right? <laughs> but uh, anyways, without further waiting or stalling, let's open it up. We'll go to my box I have over here, my white box, I should say, and get it open. All right, you'll see here, we've got Vetus in the box. Uh, nice packaging, like always. So let's go ahead and open this up. Give me two seconds and I'll get this out for you. You notice I'm trying to actually talk a bit more. Here's that packaging art. I always do like these backer cards. All right, so you get this package of accessories. Uh, like all Mythic Legions figures, you get this, talking about heating them up. You get the product card in here, Vetus with his whole story. And Vetus himself. So right here we got a spear, I'm gonna put that off to the side. And you have these little doohickeys that you unhook here. So let me go ahead and untie these off camera so I can save time and I'll be right back. Oh, my camera shut off for some reason, so we're going to catch up where I was. I was recording and not recording. So, like I was saying before, you can come all the way forward, come all the way back with the bends. The ankle is pegged forward, so you can rotate it all the way around. The knee bends in and out. So, really, really good figure. And I've loosened it up a fair amount now that I've been playing with it. But as it cools off, a little trick I've heard online is once you get these things posed where you want, stick them in the freezer for a little while and the plastic actually hardens back up to where they can hold it down. Uh, nice thing about the shield and the hand, because the hand's so soft, you can actually get the shield to grip pretty well. So I'll just stick that in the hand like that. And there you go, he's got his shield gripped and ready to go. And of course you can have him come out and hold the spear on the other hand. I like this, the guarding stance. You do a lot of these figures. Or you can just have him holding it back and forward. So let's have him just do a stance right now. Not necessarily in an attack stance, but show you, even though he's loosened up a little, it still stands pretty well. And of course, like a lot of people do, you can put the belt around the shoulders. I just pop the head off, put the belt on, pop the head back on. And now he holds his sword across his back. So he's fully ready for battle at all times. But we'll switch out from here. I'm gonna bring them out with the other figures and we'll do some comparisons. All right, so went ahead and preheated the figure while I was off camera. Just used a cheapo hair dryer I bought off Amazon. You don't have to go crazy. You can soak it in water too if you wanted to. Uh, the hair dryer is just easier as I knock everything down over here while I'm trying to put it up. Because I'm just that classy. Uh, let's go over the accessories first. It comes with a nice silver spear. Sorry, I got hair all over me. So, pretty long. Longer than the figure is. So, not bad there. Uh, inside the packaging, you get a few items here. Let's go ahead and open that up. Where are my scissors? And of course my scissors aren't sharp enough to cut this right. There we go. All right, so. You have a bag within a bag, apparently. So first off, you have a shield. Which 
good looking shield, very clean, very crisp. And of course, the shield handle on there. Comes with a silver sword with a golden grip. Very basic for Mythic Legions. The sword belt that pretty much everything comes with. And of course the spear. So let's get into Vetus himself. First off, one of my favorite things about this figure is that head sculpt. Just look at that. I love the plume on the top, the whole gladiator helmet. It's just an absolutely gorgeous head sculpt. I love it. It looks great. Focus, there we go. See the little guy in the back here. And it's also not, it's a little squishy on top. I always thought that plume was kind of hard, but it's actually squishy. So that's kind of cool. But I love the paint apps. I love the color choices, just looks great. Then going down to the rest of the armor, you see the detailing and all of it. I like how the paint app on here in the plastic, it looks textured, it's not super smooth. That's really good. Then in the belt, you have some more detailing all the way down to the skirt piece, which looks really good. So you have some what looks like fur off the top here. The skirt piece goes all the way around. And then down to your standard Mythic Legions greaves. But these look good on here, especially with that paint app. And of course the gauntlets, kind of standard fare too. But looking at the figure himself, so of course, when you're looking at the different ways of movement, the head's got full 360, the head will come off, it'll go on. Uh, now because I've done that, the, head, the whole peg is coming off, so let me put that back on there. Where's the front? Where's the front? I'm going to say that's the front. Get your butt back on there. There you go. Whatever. Okay, that's good enough. The arms, you can do a standard T-pose pretty well with them. And remember, I did heat this up. You can hear how tight this figure is. So remember, always heat them up first so you don't damage them. I know there's a big argument over that with figures. Some people say you should, some people say you shouldn't. I would rather not fight or be too prideful and just heat it up and make sure I don't break my figure, considering these run about 50 bucks. I'd rather not break it. Then of course, you can make the full bicep pose there. So you've got uh, almost 90 degrees there. You can also rotate that around. You can rotate the arm around all the way. The gauntlet itself here, connects right on there. It can also be rotated. The hand can also be rotated around. It's a softer plastic and you see the joint there so it can go in and out. It's the same for both hands. As far as the figure itself, you do have a ball peg in the middle so you can get full rotation around. You can get a little bit of bendy back and forth, a little bit side to side but not too much. Then when you come down further you can actually see how the legs go and how that peg works in there. So it's kind of pegged in. You'll see how it's kind of molded on the sides here. So it actually indicates right and left, but you do a full split. You'll see little bits of plastic flicking off while I work this figure. You do a full split, you can come all the way forward, you can come all the way back. All right, so we'll do some quick comparisons for my battery dies. So we got Vetus out here. We'll put him up against Scaphoid. So you see how well he signs up with other Mythic Legions. So of course, looks great. Got Tibius back here. Fits up very well. And we'll have another great figure comparison. The Zesray Gladiator. So you'll see these two are actually pretty close. Excuse me while I get this a little closer so you can see them really, really close. But these two are very close. Very similar in size. They're built a little differently. But of course they're both ripped. They both definitely take their Wheaties. And they're both falling down now because I touched them. Which is what happens because I'm not the best at posing things or making them stand up normal. But yeah, both these figures I think complement each other. So Vetus is great if you already collect Zesray. I think he's a good addition to that. Uh, I also have a cool model werewolf, which if you want to have Vetus fight him, you can do that as well, but looks really, really good. And of course I have the Storm Collectibles custom skeleton I made. 
that compares as well. If you're interested in learning more about the channel, feel free to follow me on my Instagram and Facebook social medias. Uh, here you can find more about what's going on in my personal life as well as behind the scenes of the channel. If you are interested in the gaming content, I do stream to Twitch before I upload any of the gaming content to YouTube. And if you wanted to follow me on Twitter, any contests I enter, I put my friends' links in there so we can both get some bonus entries off of that.